Objective using variables. Definition number one, a variable is a symbol, it's usually a letter like X or Y that represents one or more numbers. Definition number two, an algebraic expression, this could also be called a variable expression, is a mathematical statement that can include numbers, variables, and symbols or operations. And definition number three, an equation is a mathematical statement that uses an equal sign. It's called an expression if it doesn't have an equal sign, but if it does, then it's called an equation. Definition number four, an open sentence. This is just an equation that has one or more variables. Math words and phrases. So most of these you should be familiar with. Addition, add, sum, total, plus, more than, increased by. And you can probably think of a few more, all together, in all. Subtraction, fewer, less than, minus, difference, take away, decreased by, for multiplication. You might see multiplied by, each, times, per, um, Product, double, twice, triple. Um, you might hear like uh, $15 per shirt or, um, so that, that's one example of multiplication. Division, share, equally, divided by, quotient, separate, and split into. algebraic expressions. Uh, so we're going to take the words and then write them as an expression using the variables, the symbols, and the operations, and the numbers. Seven more than n. So n more than is one of our addition words, so we're going to put plus seven. Seven more than n. Number two, the difference of n and seven. So n comes first in our statements. So we write n Difference is one of our subtraction words, and then seven. The quotient of n and seven. n comes first, or you can put it on top, and seven. Quotient is a division word. So remember, this division sign and a division bar for fractions mean the same thing. Number four, the product of three and x. Now remember when we multiply a number and a variable, we don't have to have a time symbol and we don't have to have parentheses if it's a number times a variable. So this would be just 3x. 2 times the number plus 5. So we have a couple things happening here. We have times and plus. So multiplying and adding. 2 times a number. So we don't know what this number is. We can define the variable as x. x is our number. 2 times the number. So 2 times x would be 2x plus 5. So plus 5. 2x plus 5 would be 2 times the number plus 5. Number 6. The product of 1 half a number and 1 third the same number. So again, we have that, that part, a number. We don't know what it is, so we are going to define a variable. N is going to be the number. One half a number. So this would be one half times that N times the number. And then we have one third the same number. So one third N. This says the product. Product is a multiplication word. So one half n times one third n. My boards are stuck. Okay. Writing equations. Vic number one. Remember that's a very important concept. The word is often suggests an equal sign. So when you see the word is in a word problem, think equal. The total cost is the number of cans times 70 cents. 
So let's define the variable. The total cost, we're going to say C for cost, C equals the total cost, is, remember that means equals the number of cans. Now we need to define our variable. N can represent the number of cans times 70 cents. So we have the total cost is, that's our equal to symbol, 70 cents times N. So 0 0.70 N. The perimeter of a square equals four times the length of a side. So perimeter, we can use P for perimeter equals four times the length. So four times the length, that would be, the length is L, so four times L would be four times the length. P equals four times L. What is the number of slices left from an eight slice pizza after you have eaten some slices? So what is the number of slices? That's what we want to find. So let's uh, denote that. All right, so let's say N equals number of slices from an eight slice pizza after you have eaten some slices. Well, the number of slices left from an eight slice pizza. So N is what we're looking for. Eight is what we started at, eight slice pizza. And we've eaten some slices. So let's say E equals number of slices, this will be left, and this will be eaten. So N is the number of slices left over, that's what we want to find, and E is the number of slices that have already been eaten. So left over, left from, that means subtraction, A minus E. So E is our left, oh, E is the part that has been eaten, N is what's left over. 8 minus the eaten equals the leftovers. And that's all.